think the Biden administration and Democrats need to change their tune. Uh, they vote against Israel aid. Um, you know, they didn't see America didn't even stand up for Israel at the UN with the UN resolution. I mean, this is disgusting what the Biden administration is doing. Support Israel. They've got to kill Hamas. They just they'll never get their country back. Will these two sides ever come together? Well, I hope so, certainly in Washington, D.C., because Israel needs our support. When Chuck Schumer gave the speech that he gave a couple weeks ago, that was genuinely shocking, yep. given his history of votes on the issue. Jamal Bowman, not shocking. Jamal Bowman, he's the guy, of course, who pulled the fire alarm trying to delay a vote, lied about it, was caught on camera. Yeah, he's, he's sort of a clown. He's pretty disgraceful on a lot of issues, including this one. Just after October 7th, there was a vote to condemn Hamas for the slaughter of Jews in Israel. That was in mid to late October. Bowman was one of 10 members of the House to vote no on that resolution. He and his ilk were talking about a ceasefire before Israel even began any response to the massacre of 1,200 people. So I think the Israelis will quite rightly absolutely not just ignore what Jamal Bowman has to say, but maybe be inclined to do precisely the opposite of what he has to say, because his loyalties, I think, are quite clear and quite disturbing. Got it. Guy Benson on a Monday morning. Thanks very much, Guy. Good to we'll see, see you again soon. Yes, sir.